In this lab, we will learn the procedure to obtain infrared or IR spectroscopy. First, make sure that the sample plate and crystal lens are clean. If not, squirt some methanol on a tissue and wipe the area clean. Never squirt methanol directly onto the crystal. It will ruin the machine. Be sure to clean the end of the arm as well. Now we are ready to collect data. If the program is not opened, select the program omnis from the window menu. If a pop-up about the crystal comes up, select OK. You will need to collect the background before you load your sample. To do this, clean the crystal and select Collect Background from the top menu bar. Avoid touching the table while this is running. When finished, do not add the background to a new window. Next, you will collect your sample. Select the Collect Data button from the menu at the top of the screen. Then input a file name. This should include your initials, lab day, and the title of the lab. For example, I might title mine ADK T PM Pure. Initials, day, time, and title. Begin by preparing an NMR tube with your sample. You will use a few drops of this to obtain an IR. Directions on how to prepare an NMR tube are also posted on Moodle. Once you have the NMR sample prepared, proceed to the IR machine. Now we will load your sample. Make sure that your unknown is mixed in with the NMR solvent, invert the tube once or twice, then with a glass pipette, put one or two drops from the NMR tube onto the IR crystal. Allow this liquid to evaporate and place one more drop on the crystal. You should be able to see a thin film of your unknown covering the crystal. If so, move the arm of the IR machine over the crystal and lower until you hear one click. You are now ready to begin collecting. Choose collect data from the pop-up window and again avoid bumping or touching the table. A new window will inform you when the data is collected. When it asks you if you want to add your sample to a new window, click yes and take mental note of which window it will be added to. On top of the menu, choose the find peaks button. It is on the right hand side. If your graph disappears, go to the drop down menu below the top bar and choose the window that your sample was added to. Highlight the other data and select delete. You will then be able to choose the find peaks option and print your IR.